And this this could be from Ian bailing out after uh, after a, a double leg or whatever. When when Raptor gets when Raptor's behind him here, for Morkin to get up to his feet, he's going to need to post his left foot to the mat. Right, he's going to post his left foot to the mat, and he's going to uh, uh, don't don't, uh, don't don't stop him, but push that foot on the mat and start working away up the wall. I'm going to start turning and facing. Yeah, we're going to cut, cut behind. But it's, it doesn't work as well if Ian puts his right foot up on the wall. So if he puts his right foot up, it, it becomes a lot harder for him to get up. Right? He kind of needs that left leg. Go back down. He needs that left leg to drive and lean into the wall. So there he can kind of use that to walk himself up. Right? It's a little bit easier to get up from that position. This is where catching that ankle is going to be a big play a big part. So as <clears throat> soon as as soon as Ian steps up, Raptor finds the ankle, right, and uses the ankle to drive uh, Ian forward. Now Ian now uh, Raptor will get the Iowa, and then with the Iowa, as soon as he gets to Iowa, he's going to boot in. He's going to put his foot through and boot it and grapevine. This is what we want right here. We want this right here. This is gonna press and pin that leg down. Far arm's gonna be on the wrist ride. And then from here, you're gonna, you're gonna work some ground and pound. Okay? So it's the exact same thing, but the only difference is when we were out in the open, we were, we were knee sliding in for back control, but against the wall, with the leg posted up, they're gonna go more into a grapevine. Okay, so Ian's down, Ratman's landing some punches, Ian starts his escape. Ian finds the far ankle, forward pressure, boots in, our uh, Iowa, gets to, his, gets to his boot in here, grapevine, and then we're looking for that wrist right. Now we have that, we have that cross side pressure again where we're hooked in, and then we have the far, we're hooked in on the left hip and, and, and anchoring down the right shoulder. So it's a lot of pressure on, on, uh, on Ian. And Raptor is not gonna let his right knee settle on the mat. Uh, no, keep that there. He's gonna stay on his. He's gonna stay. Keep his toes on the mat and constantly driving forward, just bullying Ian forward, making his hands really heavy, so Ian has a hard time building up. And then from there, we're just landing big shots with that free hand. Okay. These these positions, when you're doing it early in the fight, it's gonna be a fight. It's gonna be a battle. You know, Ian's gonna Ian's gonna fight out of these positions, and sometimes Raptors gonna have to recycle it over and over, but they pay dividends later on in the round when Ian has been carrying Raptor's weight for most of the round, and now you start seeing the bottom person getting tired and start kind of accepting that bottom position and um, kind of fatiguing the guy. Not only, just, not only just being on bottom, but his arms carrying that weight, so when the guys end up back on their feet, they just don't got as much pop in their punch. All right, so one more time, Ian, your turn now. So Ratman is on bottom, Ian's landing some punches. Rat makes his move. He posts his leg up. Ian right away finds the ankle. Forward pressure. Good. Iowa right to a boot in, and then he's gonna grapevine on that leg. And now he's gonna find that wrist right. And he's gonna be driving forward and then just landing big shots from here. And again, open that shoulder, open that chest up. Really not big shots. Good. Alright. Let's give it a go. One, two, three.